hey guys welcome and welcome and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video my name is charity if you are new but if you're returning back thank you so much i love you a lot thank you it gives me joy every time i know that you watch my video and i read your comments it's so so exciting okay thank you so much for sticking around please i would urge you to watch this video from the beginning to the end so you can actually understand it all if you're not a member of this family already if your bell is not on you haven't subscribed please take this chance okay to use the sound sign down there that says subscribe and then you use the bell okay the notification bell what it does is that every time there's a new video you will be notified okay so join this family give this video a big thumbs up and if you feel like sharing it with your loved ones go ahead and do that okay join this family because here we do a whole lot of things relationship marriage lifestyle and a whole lot okay so yeah in today's video i'm going to be answering a question that um most single girls want to know from those of us that have been married and for the records i've been married for over 16 years now and i intend to share my lifestyle to share my experiences good or bad with you as um, a person who is about to get married or who is married or who is, um, you know, whatever, and you want to hear from those that have been there a little bit before you, or you have been there already before me, just, we just get to chat on the comment box and share our experiences. Okay. So, um, whatever you need to add to this video, do that in the comment box, whatever you want to minus from this video, do that as well in the comment box. Okay. So I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a businesswoman, I'm a YouTuber, <laughs> I'm a teacher, a whole lot of things. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be answering this question from a young girl who is, you know, ride for marriage okay and then she wanted to know some of this stuff from me and i've got a lot of people that have asked me similar questions or i know that there are lots of people out there that may want to ask similar questions and if you want to ask more questions go ahead and drop your questions in the comment box okay i'm here for you right so i'm just going to delve into today's video and um, answer the questions for you guys right back into today's video and here goes the question so i have a list here so i'm going to be looking down um a lot so if you notice that i'm looking down it's because i'm actually you know answering the questions from my notes okay that's that so it says number one question is what does it take to be a mrs me <laughs> well it takes a lot it takes a lot if you ask me is marriage easy no it is not okay and if you ask me do you want to be single no i don't want to be single okay so it's a lot but at the same time marriage is sex is beautiful it's it's something exciting it's something difficult it is something hard it is something necessary it is something good I love it that I'm married and if I come back to this world as a woman, I want to be married again. Okay, so um, in as much as marriage is tough, it's hard, it's difficult, but if you have your partner, if you have your friend as your husband, definitely guys, marriage is worth it. Okay, so it takes a whole lot to be Mrs. Me. It takes hard work. It takes God. You guys, it takes God. For all of the things I've got to say here, it takes God for me to still be the Mrs. Me that I am today. It takes the almighty God, okay? It takes effort. It takes hard work. It takes reasoning. It takes the Holy Spirit. It takes, I can't finish saying it all, but to crown it all, guys, it takes God for me to be Mrs. Moa, okay? Yeah, so the next question says, how long have you been married okay guys i said i think i said that earlier in this video i've been married for 16 years okay yeah a lot of people are gonna be like are you sure yeah i've been married for 16 years i have a son he's past 15 now i have a daughter she's past nine years now yeah i've been married for over 16 years now claire yeah he says here again walk me through your wedding night experience were you scared was I scared? Yeah, a little bit. 
I was scared a little bit because um, <laughs> I know my reasons for, you know, being scared a little bit. I was scared, yeah, a little, but my husband and I, we already knew each other a lot, you know, so um, I was scared, but not that scared, like that scared. No, I wasn't scared, but I was a little because it was an, a, a, a new environment, new lifestyle, new things that I haven't been doing before, new a lot. So uh, definitely that little scare was there, but that's not being scared. Okay, so I wouldn't say I was scared. And my experience was, it was weird. But it was fine at the end of the day. So yeah, it was fine. Okay. The day after the wedding, what was the first thing you did? Did you kneel to greet your husband? <sighs> Why would I do that? Did you kneel to greet your husband or did you rush to the kitchen? No, I didn't kneel to greet my husband. Why? Because um, that was not necessary. Because if I kneel to greet my husband on that day, I was, am I going to keep kneeling to greet my husband all the years of our lives? No, for me, I... No, 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 no. I don't belong to that category. I'm not coming from that street. Okay, so I didn't kneel to greet my husband. I didn't rush to the kitchen either because when we got married, it was a family house. There was no privacy. Okay, so I practically came in as that humble village, you know, girl like that, you know. Um, so I think what I did was walk out of the compound and see you know, go sweep the compound, you know, those kinds of things that if you don't do, you become the bad wife. So um, I practically got up in the morning, tried to get up unnecessarily early. It wasn't too early, but if it were me now, my God, I wouldn't get up at that time. No, 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 no way. Okay. So, but I did got up, you know, went out, swept the compound and tried to be the good girl. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. What did you feel when you got pregnant? Well, there are two, um, a lot of pregnancy situations in my life, and I'm going to be sharing some videos on that. My God, I've had a lot of experiences, painful, sad, you know, exhausting, a whole lot of experiences. But my first experience was amazing i think my elder sister was even happier because she couldn't wait for me to be pregnant you know and all of that she has her reasons okay and i understand that reason okay so um she was excited particularly when i got pregnant i was too because it was what we wanted you know uh when i first got married the first month i was very very ill but i didn't understand it could be the stress that we went through to get married traditionally then uh i was ill and we were thinking i was pregnant and then at the end of the day i wasn't and then the next month i was pregnant so um it was like first disappointment and then the second month the pregnancy came and we were excited both my husband myself my sisters everyone was excited for me so that was my joy in that pregnancy okay yeah so um what was your greatest fear in this marriage what is my greatest fear in my marriage oh god it has to be the fact that i don't want to make mistakes okay i don't want to do things that my children won't be proud of yeah you get my point i want to do things that my kids will look up to me and be proud to say i want to do it the way my mom did it okay both my sons both my daughters you know i want them to say they want to do it the way I did it because I must have done it well. You get my point. So um, my greatest fear is not doing it well the way I intend to do it. And I just pray that God helps me to actually do it very, very well. Okay. What did you feel the time you got pregnant? I think I've answered that. But let me talk about my pregnancy with my daughter my god this is supposed to be another video entirely and i'm going to do that but i'm just going to quickly tell you guys that that was a pregnancy like never before that was a strange pregnancy that was exhausting that was every experience that anybody can talk about with you i'm going to share that story with you and i'm going to show you uh there are videos i think i have with my daughter okay that you have met her one way or the other okay so i'm gonna let you meet my daughter but that pregnancy it was tough guys i went through hell and i came back again so that was the experience 
with that pregnancy okay so the next one says how did you know your husband was the one apart from getting a sign from god frankly you guys i did not get any signs from god i'm so sorry this is how i am like i did not get any sign get any sign from god but my husband i think he prayed or he asked for somebody to pray with him and they did and then he was convinced something like that well what i know was that i saw a man that i liked i saw my spec my kind of person that i like in every sense of the word he is not perfect he's not everything but i like him okay i love him okay so um i saw what i wanted i saw the spec for me and i went for it and i asked god to help me out so i'm just grateful to god that it is working out for us okay in as much as we are struggling and doing everything to make sure it works out it's not easy for us but it is easy by the grace of god so the the, yeah, the truth of the matter is that i didn't get a sign from god but i felt that he was the one for me and then it worked out for the both of us so um that is it okay before getting married were you having second thoughts no i was not having second thoughts whether he's the one or he's not the one or he was going to disappoint and all of that no i think i was just overwhelmed with the fact that i found me what i wanted okay i think that fact just overwhelmed me and um every other thoughts were just you know hanging in the air and all of that so if there were second thoughts that i was supposed to have i didn't have them because those second thoughts i practically did not give them time or chance to work in my life so um i can't remember having second thoughts why because i did not even create rooms for second thoughts okay so i did not allow it so maybe if i did i would have but no i didn't have second thoughts okay yeah he said is marriage worth the stress yes marriage is worth the stress because uh first of all god wants us uh, to be married god has signed it for us to be married so it's a necessity and then in this life there is nothing that comes on a platter okay even when things come on a platter or no platter sorry you get scared because you're like this is not normal okay so um marriage is worth the stress especially when you are dealing with your own partner when you are dealing i feel like my husband is my partner sometimes we are thinking alike sometimes we are you know our minds are going to the same you know like things and stuff like that so we are kind of um we are the one for ourselves that's the word okay so when you have a partner like that it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to be able to pull through it okay so this past 16 years has it hasn't been easy for us it hasn't been like you know bread and butter but guys it has been amazing it has been wonderful full of experiences full of new knowledge full of more understanding i'm just hoping that my husband is gonna agree to come on this channel with me so you guys will know how we you know dig and uh, dug and all of that in our marriage and we keep striving and we keep growing so if you would want to see my husband on this channel please let me know on the comment box and i'm gonna drag him here so he would you know i would love for us both to share with you how it's been like you know the arguments the fun times the angry moments the the whole of it I just want to be there for people you know to encourage you and to keep moving you but if to know whether marriage is worth the stress yes guys it is worth the stress okay so is a man worth the stress well um there are ways i want to answer this question okay is a man worth the stress no one is worth your life okay no one is worth your sanity because there are lots of things that people go through and um, sometimes their lives go along with it like they evaporate in the thin air just because of another human being if you're doing something with a person who is ready to do this thing with you it is kind of different okay so you are pulling you know your rope together because at the end of the day you know what you want for each other okay so um it's different from when you are dealing with somebody who is out to frustrate you who is out not to help you to get to your goal that can be frustrating so um if you ask me if a man is worth the stress there are different oh you know or um diverse ways that i'm going to be answering that if 
he is your man and he understand the fact that you both are going through a race that you want to both win at the end you know it is worth the stress a man is worth the stress okay if your man is your man like he understands you like he knows that you are in it to win it you're in it together you're in it for a cause that you want to win in the end he's worth it okay so you you keep you know striving together enjoying together working together and pulling the rope together but then if a man is not in this with you like you're in it alone it can be frustrating it can be everything negative okay so um if you have that kind of man then it's not worth the stress for me okay because if you die in there he's gonna at the end of the day make himself happy with somebody else probably you're not the one for him and he even wants you to die off okay so gone are the days people do things because the society wants you to do it or the church wants you to do it or um you have to just do it for the kids even if you die in it no so if those if it comes to people that um you know not into this journey with you like you're alone in it then my dear sister a man is not worth the stress okay so i don't know if i if this answer makes any sense at all okay so how do you cope with work with marriage and kids guys it's not easy for me it's not easy for me it's not easy guys uh, right now i'm making a video i've got to cook i've got to do a lot of things you know so um i'm gonna edit i'm gonna upload i'm thinking about shop even though my family is there they're helping me out and all of that but guys it's not easy okay it's not easy at all but god makes it easy because we are wired to be able to do this whole things all of it all together so glory be to god for the strength you know for the wisdom for you know the ability to have a man who is able to help you out like mine is helping me out okay so um a whole lot of things contribute to my ability to be able to cope with all of this and my husband is on the top list like he helps a lot a lot a lot every time he's around it's so much easier for me it's so much better for me okay so um yeah it takes god for me to be able to double into all of these and still come out alive you know yeah so it takes god okay so that's basically me and uh, this looks like more of a get to know me video you can never finish knowing me so if you have more questions ask me on the comment box if there are still things that you want to know about marriage about relationship go ahead and ask me questions and i hope by the grace of god that i'm going to be able to bring answers to your questions so if you are still here thank you so much you're my real fan and i love you thank you a lot i will see you in my next video bye for now